This video is going to be strictly about graphing the derivative. The previous video um, showed algebraically how to find um, limits and the derivative. The thing that you have to remember when graphing the derivative is that you are graphing the slope of the tangent line. You're graphing the slope of the tangent line. So for example, this is number 13. Uh, you should stop the video and write it down. The tangent line, I always start where the slope is zero. And the slope of this parabola, its tangent slope is zero at zero. When x is zero, the slope of the tangent is zero. So what's happening now is what's going on with the two branches of this parabola? Okay, so the slope of the tangent. So if I just randomly draw in a bunch of tangent lines, I draw in a tangent here, and I draw in a tangent here, and I draw in a tangent here. The slopes are all negative. So when x is negative, the slope is negative. When x is negative, the slope is negative. What are those exact slopes? I don't know. So I'm just gonna draw them in the negative region. Okay, when x is positive, when x is positive, so let me try and use a different color here. When x is positive, what about all these tangent lines? So I'm just gonna draw in a bunch of tangent lines. Etc. The slopes of all of these lines are positive. So when x is a positive value, the slope of the tangent is a positive value. And it should be a line as such. Okay, let's look at number 16, which has this really funky graph. Let's look at 16, which has this really funky graph. I think it's easiest if you start where the slope of the tangent is zero. So for 16, the slope of the tangent is zero at this point and at this point. Oh, it looks like it's secant. I meant to draw a tangent. So when x is negative whatever, the slope is zero. So when x is negative something, doesn't matter, the slope is zero. And when x is positive something, that slope is zero. I think it's supposed to be symmetric, if I recall correctly, in my graph. Okay. Now, as I'm going from where the slope is zero, so from this x value right here, the slopes of all of these tangents the slope of all of those tangents are negative. And then I hit this x value right here. Put my ruler on it. I hit this x, x value right here. At, let's just say it's negative two for sake of argument. The slopes of all of those tangents become positive. And at the origin, at the origin, the tangent is um, zero. So now what's happening between the x value here and the x value here? So that's gonna be from here to here. Those are my x values, here to here. What's happening to the slope of the tangent? Well, the slope of the tangent is negative. And then I come down and I go up. This x value right here, they're all positive. So the slope, or sorry, this is the graph of the function. This is the graph of its derivative. This is the graph of its derivative, which is the slope. Okay, I wanna look at another problem, which is number 12. And I want to um, show you on the calculator how you're going to look at what the um, 
function of the derivative looks like. So the first thing is they ask you to find the generic derivative, not at a certain point. They just want the generic derivative. So to find the generic derivative, this is the limit as h approaches 0 of the f of x plus h minus the f of x. Okay, go through, do all the work, but for the sake of time, you end up with 6x. This is the equation for the slope of a line at a given point. This is the equation for the slope of a line at a given point. So I took the liberty of graphing, out, graphing it already. So at x equals 1, the slope is 6. I'm just making up these points. At x equals negative 2, the slope is negative 12. So let's actually see what the slope or what the equation of those tangent lines are and see if they um, reasonably fit the graph. So you should draw the graph. Okay, when x is 1, y is 3. That's a point right here when x is 1, y is 3. The uh, equation of the tangent line at that point is going to be y minus 3 equals 6 times the quantity x minus 1, which is y equals 6x minus 3. And then I randomly chose negative 2. So at negative 2, that's the point negative 2, 12, right here. And the, uh, sorry, the equation of the tangent line at that point, so the equation of the tangent line at negative 2, 12, which we're going to graph in just a second, is y equals negative 12x minus 12. You can do the work. I was going to draw this and see if it makes any sense. So y equals 6x minus 3. Okay, y-intercept is negative 3. Slope is 6. Does that look legit? Does that look like it could be the tangent line? I think it does. Okay, y equals negative 12x uh, minus 12. So notice the slope when x was 1, the slope is 6. When x is negative 2, the slope is negative 12. The beauty of this is I can find the slope at any point I want. I don't have to redo the f of x minus the f of a over x minus a. Like this is going to work for all values of x. Let me write that down. So if I wanted you to find the slope at a specific point, if I wanted you to find the slope at a specific point, you would do the equation if I gave you x was 1. Then you would do it again if I gave you x was negative 2. And if I gave you x was 0, you would do it again. Not necessary. This works for all values of x. And I'm sorry, I'm going to digress. That's uh, derivative notation. That's derivative notation. Just one of the many forms. It's like forms of a line. There's slope-intercept form, there's standard form, there's point-slope form, but it all gives you a line. Same exact thing. This all is going to give you the derivative, which is the slope of a curve at a certain point. Keep re reiterating that. Okay, sorry about that. So let's go here. So negative 12, 3, 6, 9, 12, and then the slope is negative 12. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I made a mistake. 3, 6, 9, 12. The slope is negative 12. How about 1, 2, 3? Beauty of erasable pen. Here we go. Okay, and we're gonna do this on the calculator. And this is a parabola, what I started with, 3x squared. 
this was a parabola, and then we found the slope, or we found the equation of the, the graph of the slopes of the tangent lines. So remember that these went together. So this was a parabola. Our derivative graph was a line. This is a parabola. Our derivative graph should also be a line. Okay, calculator, if you don't have it, you're gonna to wanna to push pause, and I believe this is gonna be new for all of you. Okay, let's start with graphing 3x squared. Okay, and then let's graph the two lines that we just found. One of them was 6x minus three, and the other one was negative 12x minus 12. Let me try and zoom in on this for you. Okay, and let me try and focus it a little. All right, zoom six. There's our parabola. There is 6x minus three, and there is negative 12x minus 12. Looks like that could potentially be correct. It looks like those are tangents. So we're gonna have to kind of eyeball it, but that's what it looks like. Okay, here is how you figure out what the graph of the derivative looks like. The calculator will do it for you, so I'll go slow. Clear out the other two equations and go back to 3x squared. Math. Number eight and derivative. So either push eight or arrow down. Oh, look at that notation. That looks like a derivative to me. I wanna find the derivative, d dx, I just pushed the x key, of the function in y1, of the function in y1, alpha trace y1, alpha trace y1. And I wanna find this for all values of x. I wanna find this for all values of x. Graph, there's my function. And mine's working very slowly. Wow, there it is. So it's pretty cool. I'm gonna go back and show you how to do that again. Show you how to do that again. So you're going to do math number eight, d dx, so I pushed the x key. I wanted to find the derivative of the equation in y1, so alpha trace y1, and I wanted to find it for all values of x, okay? I'm gonna make this a different color so you can see it better. Wow, my calculator is super slow. There it is. So the first time I did this, first time I did this, I thought that's not the tangent line. It goes through the it goes through the parabola twice at the origin and somewhere up there. Ah, this is this line is not the tangent line. It is the graph of the slopes of the tangent lines. It's the graph of the slopes of the tangent lines. So on my parabola, on the left-hand side where x is negative, so when x is negative on the parabola, x is negative, the slope of the tangent lines are negative. They go like this, and then when x is positive, the slopes of the tangent lines are positive, so hence the graph. Those are graphs of tangent lines.